Well, hi, Clinton. It's been uh, quite a long time. And you did uh, ask for some sort of analysis for Taiwan. Where does Taiwan fit into this? Taiwan's sort of leading the pack towards recovery, very close to it. It's very close. There's still some time to go. So uh, perhaps I can show you some of the data uh, that we have on Taiwan. Okay, here we are at the uh, stats folio page. Punch up Taiwan. And here is Taiwan. And we can see that it's gone to zero first. And then it looks like everybody went out to play. And then they all got sick. And then they went right back in again. And it went down to zero. And everyone went out to play again. And now it's gone back to zero. And we want to know when it's time to be able to play. Not quite yet, to be honest with you. This graph is uh, very deceptive and should not be the graph that is looked at. This graph is. I am personally, in my own opinion, is basically killing people. This is the new cases per day graph. It's all over the place. Everybody shows this graph. And uh, it uh, it is extremely, extremely misleading. These graphs down here are the graphs to look at. Now, this is the confirmed cases graph. I'll take off the deaths over time graph and the recovered graph, which is also very important. But here we have the active cases graph, which drops. And then we have the confirmed cases graph. We want to see when it comes down to it. This is a confirmed cases graph. When we go logarithmically, when we go logarithmically and all the other graphs are off. All right, I'll bring this off for other graphs. <clears throat> then this slope of this graph under the logarithmic graph, we want the slope of that graph to be zero, which it pretty well is. See, we're at 440 for a while, all the way through, confirmed. But then it drops off a bit. So, this is not exactly, this is very close to the end, but the graph you really want to look at is this one, which, okay, we'll go back to linear and redo this again. Confirmed, death, recovered. This is the active cases graph. So the active cases graph, these are the number of people who are sick. And we see uh, uh, when I'm doing this, this is Friday, May 15th, uh, that's yesterday. It's actually Saturday today. We have 44 people who are sick, which is very few for the population of Taiwan. So it went up and then very quickly has dropped off. But you'll look, you see this long beginning, this very, very long beginning. And when you started, you started, there were only about 32 and then it took off like crazy. So we have to make sure that we don't want this to happen again on the tail end. So we have to wait long enough. So we have to make a time estimate that if you maintain quarantine, uh, and you stick to your guns, how much longer do you have uh, to go before we can release everybody? Because everybody has been released too soon in a number of different cases. One of the worst cases is, uh, is Germany, which released way too soon. Um, so let's switch over now to the model, because I take this data, all of this data, and I can just grab it and export it wherever we have it. There it is. We export the data. Here we go. And I'll put it into the uh, spreadsheet that I've got that I've already built uh, to handle this data so we can make some predictions. Okay, here we are at the, uh, uh, this is with the spreadsheet. Basically what I've taken from Statsfolio. There's the Taiwan data. Here's what the data all looks like when it comes into the spreadsheet. It makes some graphs and I pop them onto the spreadsheet here. So on the right hand side are the confirmed cases. This is from the data itself and this is what was predicted. So we've predicted it'd be about less than 450. It's less than 450. But this started taking off in about 60 days. This is way back at about 20 days. So the timing is off because I need to offset this because of this very, very long beginning that we had in Taiwan. So keeping that in mind, we then have this typical looking graph. Uh, again, uh, we have a very long lead in to this, and we don't want a long tail on this. We want to try having this thing kill like it comes down to here. And so there's a number of things to look for. One's the first inflection point here, the peak, the second inflection point. We also need the beginning date. So that we got the beginning date to the first inflection point up to the peak down to the next inflection point, and where are we, and when would it be safe for this thing to end on this side? 
so from this data, this model had predicted about 300 active cases. We're not bad, it's just over 300. So I think that this matches remarkably well. As far as deaths are concerned, this is a typical S looking curve because there's so few people involved. This comes out an S looking curve. I've got between seven and eight, but we can only have a um, integer number of, uh, of people. Um, so it, it's predicted quite, quite closely uh, as to the number of deaths that you would have. So the next question, this is really the key because your growth rate was killed very quickly. It dropped down uh, massively fast at a very early time. Uh, it took until here because I imagine it got up a bit and then Taiwan decided it was going to try and kill this thing. Um, the reason this is good because you've got about a, this is um, this part in red. This number right here is the education rate. This education or cooperation rate was close to 12%. In other words, you've been killing the growth rate at about 12%. And the growth rate started off at 96% a day. So just about doubling every day when it started off. And uh, Taiwan has killed this at a rate of 11% of the growth rate per day. So the growth rate is now pretty well down to zero. Well, it's practically zero right now. But that doesn't mean you can go because you still got active cases and the active cases have to be resolved. And that's where people are making the mistake. And you've got to wait until this hits zero. And how long will that take? Well, looking at the model that we have, our initial date, I'm putting it January 21st. The first inflection point is on 24th of March. Um, which is fairly easy. It's the peak in the daily cases. When you get to the daily case, you get the peak. That peak corresponds to the first inflection rate of um, the first inflection rate. It's the first inflection date of the active cases. It's all deals with active cases. So your initial date starts off January 21st. Your first um, inflection point where instead of uh, increasing the slope and climbing uh, with the slope of number of people who are sick, it begins to at least start going the other way. Not the peak, it's just that the slope changes. And that is on the uh, 24th of March, which was 63 days. It peaked, uh, your active cases peaked. Uh, confirmed cases, active cases peaked here. That your active cases peaked on uh, April sometime, just not that long ago. Okay, your peak date was on 6th of April, 13 days after the inflection point, which gives us our crossover point. Happened to be coming down the other side, you already passed that. That is April the 19th. And according to this model, it's June 21st. So you should be safe on or around June 21st. You should be planning for that date. But definitely in, in June, you've got what I have basically said. This is May 16th. So from May 16th, um, it's about another month. And I had said at least a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks or a month, depending. But when your active cases go to zero for a few days, because the data we're getting it's another thing that has to be pointed out. The data that we're getting here is data from medical authorities. This is reported data. There are some people who are sick at home and we don't know about. So you may have active cases that are more than this. And we've got to make sure that those uh, have been resolved in some way. So I would like to say that uh, uh, Taiwan has done extremely well, probably the, one of the leaders in the world. And uh, it's a matter of having cooperation. That uh, education rate I was talking about is a cooperation rate. And Taiwan, as a people, have very much cooperated and understood the seriousness of this. And you've just got to lock it down. So anywhere, maybe three or four weeks from now, uh, and, uh, and it should be safe. So all your active cases have to be resolved.